stoner mind. Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So here we have the speakers that smell like a hospital. And here we have Peanut. Looks like he's not going to be doing anything real soon, so let's move straight over to Pancake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the speakers there and she's trying to grab my fingers. She'll choose the box that I'm going to open. Okay, so here we have both of the boxes and which one is she going to choose? This one or this one? They're both funny colours, choose one. The small one. So we've got two speakers left. I'm going to be taking these out right now and replacing them with the ones that Pancake chose. So like I said in the video, these have a paper cone and if I'd have known that, I probably wouldn't have got these. They also did a little worse than I was expecting them to. And here we have the other one. And out this comes, as well as a glorious hospital smell. And in case you're wondering, it's actually not a very nice smell. This is actually one of the nicer fitting polystyrene cutout things. Da Vinci Slick Series 2. 480 watts, highly doubted coaxial speakers. Sensitivity 93 dB, interesting. So these are Vibe 6x9s, as you can probably see. Slightly damaged box because they've been under a pile of other boxes. So over here we've got 160 watts RMS. Should be interesting, maybe. Is that both the speakers together? Or just one? 50 hertz to 25 kilohertz. Recommended amplifier, slick stereo 4. Hmm. Oh, that's what it is. Actually, I can't even see it. I'm still stood here in front of this box. Okay, so let's open this up now and we'll see what's inside. So this opens up like... Like a so. That was easy. And what is going to come out? So we've got this. Oh, it's a limited warranty. Won't be needing that. And then this. That is one six by nine. And then we have another box in here. So shake that out. All right, so that's what comes out of it then. Wow, that was open. Now I've got about seven screws on the floor and uh, those metal things. And this is what they look like. We've got the front of it and we've got the back of it. This is the front. Also, this is a pretty good video thumbnail. So maybe I'll just pull my hand out of the way and take a screenshot. All right, so I've just got one of the speakers here right now. This fits on top of that. That's so beautiful. And this goes on there like this. And it's actually quite a nice, tidy fit. So I was kind of surprised at that. It kind of, it feels good. It feels like it's a pretty good quality build. So that's surprising to me, but I think they've improved since, I don't know, how long has it been? Uh, 10 years, 12 years since I had some sort of a Vibe product. And that was in there. I didn't even know about that. That was so weird. Also the spider on this is red. Never seen a red one before. Okay, like I said last time, these wires are connected via crocodile clips and they stay put. So these crocodile clips also connect to the speaker terminals. So this one right here is the negative one. That one there is positive. Also, all these holes seem to match up each and every time, which is good. Just hand tightening the rest of the way because I don't want to over tighten using the electric screwdriver. It's easy to do that with one of those. Just put this to one side. So like I've said, once this review is over, I'll run some more tests. Not too sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll do something. If you've got any suggestions, let me know below. So here we are then, plugged in, ready and waiting. So what I'll do first is turn this on because I usually leave that till last and sometimes forget. And that is the amplifier. So now I'll turn these around. And there we go, the speakers are now in position. So the first test is going to be a stereo test. This will give you a sense of what the stereo sound is like. So we're going to play that now. Left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. This next song I'm going to play, I've actually been having nightmares over. Ideally, I should have had a bunch of different songs to play, but I don't. So, uh, kind of stuck. So, for consistency reasons, and if you actually want to go through these previous videos and listen to how the speakers sound that I've tested, you'll hear this same song throughout those videos, and uh, you'll get a sense of how these speakers sound. So, that is one of the reasons that I'm doing this. 
So now we'll play this song and hopefully you'll have nightmares too. I mean, hopefully you'll get an idea of how these speakers sound. And here we have the song. Okay, so what I have loading up here is a project that I made specifically for this test. Now, there's a saxophone, there's a bass line. This looks a bit different. This is the wrong project. Anyway, there's a saxophone, there's a bass line. Uh, originally, I wasn't going to use my own music in this test. I was just going to use it for myself. I was going to replace these speakers and in between the actual testing of the music, I was going to play this for myself. But I decided to put this in the video for each of these speakers. So I'm just going to change this. I'm not too sure which one this is. Ah, this I actually made with one speaker on the desk. One of the speakers that I was testing. I was making this in mono. I think I made this on my other channel, so check that out if you want. All right, so here we have it loading up and it should just take a second. So we have a bass line here. We've got a uh, saxophone. So what I'll do is I'll just play a section of this and we'll see how it sounds. Also, the camera is going to be pointing right there in the middle because this is the center of both of the speakers. So what I'll do now is I'll just play this. It's about 35 seconds or so of it. And then we'll bass boost that previous song and we'll see how the speakers handle it. And there we go, that was painless, wasn't it? So, uh, so far, I'm quite satisfied with these speakers, surprisingly. Okay, so here we have the speakers set up again. But before I play anything, I'm going to show you this. This right here is the Bass Boost Equalizer I have set up. Everything over 166 hertz has been reduced by minus 16 dB. So now what I'll do is I'll Bass Boost these and we'll see how much they move. Bass Boost. And here we go with the song. So just based on their sound quality alone, I may have to put these at the top of the list. We'll only know for sure though once I actually test these speakers in one video and we have a side-by-side -side comparison sort of thing. Next, we'll see at what point they start smelling. And this I'm doing just because I've done it to the previous speakers. I did the first one by accident, it started smelling all by itself. So I did it to the second, the third, now we're on the sixth pair. I think it's a sixth, but yeah, I'm going to do it to these now. 
So there we have the nice side angle view and what I'll do now is play that same song that everybody loves, yay! Alright, he's going mainstream. Eventually I could smell them a little bit, but yeah, there we go then. That's these. They did fairly well. What I'm going to do now is end the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.